Hello everyone, welcome back to Native Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise on Velocity Diagram Power Machines N6. The exercise that we are doing is an exercise that I've taken from my test book and it reads as follows. A two-row velocity compounded steam turbine uses 4.54 kg per second of steam and leaves the nozzle at 650 meters per second. The discharge angle of the nozzle is 16 degrees and the exit blade angles from the first moving row, the fixed row and the second moving row of blades are respectively 20 degrees, 25 degrees and 28 degrees. The blade speed is 15, it's 150 meters per second and the velocity or friction coefficient for all blades is 0 0.9 and then they say draw a velocity diagram scale of one centimeter is to 50 meters per second to answer the questions question number one they say determine the power developed by the blades question number two they say determine the diagram efficiency so first before we continue <clears throat> we know that we are dealing with a two row velocity compounded steam turbine meaning we are dealing with a two stage velocity diagram from that we know that we are going to have two diagrams something like this one that i've drawn here so before we can represent or we can take down the, the information that is given to us from the statement Let's try to draw these two diagrams and then record the information that is given to us where it is supposed to, to be so we are able to avoid confusion. So I will read slowly while taking down the information that is given to us. They say a two row velocity compounded steam turbine uses, that's the mass, you start here and say mass of steam. They say it's 4.54 kilogram per second. That is mass of steam. And leaves the nozzle at 650 meters per second. The inlet volume of the steam from the nozzle. Remember, we're having something like this. Let me draw it here. We're having a plate. We're having another plate. And then we're having a fixed plate. The nozzle is here. The nozzle angle is this one, the steam, it's entering the first plate. At what angle? Remember, this is the inlet velocity of the steam. It's entering the velocity, this is the velocity of the steam entering the, the turbine. And then they say here, and leave the nozzle at 650, meaning this is our 650 meters per second. And then we continue, they say, and the discharge angle of the nozzle is 16 16 discharge angle of the nozzle it's 16 it will be here 16 degrees and then we continue they say and the exit blade angles from the first moving row the first moving row and then they say the fixed row and the second moving row of plates are respectively so this one let's go back they say the exit blade angles meaning the angles that they are about are about to be given to us are the angles or they are the exit blade angles they say from the first moving plate the first moving plate meaning we're given what the exit and blade angle which will be this one. This one is the one that will be number one from the information that is presented to us. And then they say the fixed row, the fixed row, this will be the angle of the plate, of the fixed plate, the, uh, the exit angle of the fixed plate, which will be what? Which will be the angle at which the steam will enter the second uh the second row meaning it will be this angle this will be our number two and then they say 
the second moving row of blade are respectively the second moving row the second moving row will be the exit angle of the second row which will be this one and then they are say they are saying are ah, respectively 20 20 c start here it's number one 25 25 is number two and then 28 28 is here degrees degrees Decrease. Let me read that statement again. They say the discharge angle of the nozzle is 16 degrees, this one, and the exit blade angles from the first moving row, first moving row, the fixed row, fixed row, the second moving row, the second moving row, are respectively 25 are respectively 20, 25, and 28. And then we pass. They say the blade speed is 15 meters per second. 15 meters per second. It's 150 meters per second, sorry. That's the blade speed, 150 meters per second. We know the blade speed isn't changing. So here also it is going to be 150 meters per second. And then they say, and the velocity or friction coefficient for all blades is that the value of k k is given to us as 0 comma 9 then they say draw a velocity diagram scale of one centimeter at 250 meters per second to answer the questions so now we have the information that we need to start our construction so we are going to start with the obvious one which is the value of u or we can say the velocity of the blade to convert 150 meters per second according to the scale that we are given this is the scale according to the scale that we are given we are going to say divided by 50 which will give us 3 and then we are going to measure 3 meters like this that will be 3 meters that's the value of you 150 and then we have two angles this one and this one this one we have the angle and we have its magnitude so we are going to measure that 16 here and then we are going to draw a, a, a construction line just like that and then convert this according to the scale i got that it is 13 centimeters you measure that 13 centimeters and then they say the 13 meter, centimeter ends here and then now you know this 13 centimeter will end here and where this 13 centimeter end that is where the line which is the component of this blade speed and the inlet velocity will be from this point to this point now we have those two points we can just join those two points like this let me just use the ruler for this one you can just join those points remember we also have this angle so we can measure that 20 here and then create something like that now this is a construction line but we know that since we are given k our value of k is 0 0.9 and then they said for all the blades meaning this this is 13 let's label this is 13 centimeters this is 3 centimeters and then as I, when i measure this line i got that it is 10.2 centimeters It is possible that you can get it as 10.1 or 10.3 just that it shouldn't be that much of a difference and let's continue we said this line we have now its magnitude i said it is 10.2 so if we say 10.2 times k will give us what will give us this line right here this line from this it will give us this line so that's exactly what I did there. I got that the answer for this one is what? It's 9.81 centimeters, which will be uh, smaller than this one. Let's say it ends 
here and then since it ends here we're going to join these two points and then we are done with our first diagram we project even if you have projected from the top uh, from the diagram, from the first diagram, you must make sure that this in length is three centimeters because it's possible that you can project only to find that your lines are not uh, exactly parallel. So at the end of the day, when you get to this diagram, you have a diagram that is no longer three centimeters. So yes, you have to project, but check with the ruler to make sure that that line is still three centimeters. And then from here, we are in this diagram now we have this and this so we can measure that 25 to that direction and then that 28 to this direction those are construction lines so remember <coughs> the velocity is entering the first plate and then it will slide through the first first plate and then after the first plate it will go to the fixed plate where it will be redirected to what to the second plate now this will act as the nozzle for the second plate the steam will slide through this one and then enter to the second plate so now they say that k that they gave us is 0 0.9 is for all the plates so the steam is leaving this at a particular um, velocity after sliding through this they are telling us that it has lost 10 percent of uh the velocity that was measured at this point so the velocity this which was measured at this point which will be this velocity which will be this is the inlet and this is the outlet which will be this velocity i measured and i got that it is 6.5 we're going to say 6.5 times what 0 0.9 and then we're going to get what the velocity which the steam is entering the second plate and I got that it is equals to what? It's five eight five. And then let's say five eight five ends here. We are going to join these two points. Okay, let's just put it here. And then now we have this. We have this we have this angle we are going to measure this one i measured and i got that it is 3.4 centimeters these are centimeters after you can just say centimeter and convert in uh with using the scale and put it like this for instance here is 650 you can do it throughout the diagram so i'm putting centimeters because it's uh we are trying to keep our diagram clean for explaining purposes so now we continue i measured we measure this one and then we are going to say this one times the 0 0.9 and then this will give you 3.06 and 3.06 i got that it will end somewhere here and then we join the two and then my diagram is something like this here we are having 28 degrees and here we are having 25 degrees this is my diagram drawn up to scale so as you can see i have inserted the values in centimeters per uh in centimeters and the values in meters per second so yeah from here we are going to answer the questions that they are asking us after drawing the velocity diagram they say question number one determine the power developed by the blades and then number two they say determine the blading the diagram efficiency so this is where i answered uh power is equals to mass times the velocity of the blade times vw which is w1 plus w2 w1 and w2 i said it's this one from here to here from this leg to this leg is w2 this one and then the other one from this leg to this leg i measured at the top there to here and then this is the value in meters per second then that's what i put i have inserted 
here. It's W1 and W2. And then this is what I got. The mass is in kilojoules per second. Yes. So there's no need to divide by 60. We know we divide by 60 if we are given kilojoules per minute because the value, the SI unit of power should be kilojoules per second. Always. Kilojoules per second or joules per second. And then the blading efficiency. It's given by 2 U times W1 and W2 times 100 divided by VI um, to the power 2. Uh, the 2 is the number of stages. And then we put the values and then this is what I got as my value for the blading efficiency. Yeah, so that's basically the end of this question. So please, when you're dealing with velocity diagram, make sure you understand what they are giving you. You have a reaction turbine, you have a turbine, uh, an impulse turbine, and then you have a, 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 a the velocity diagram that discharge axially. You must, they will tell you about those weights and you must also know which diagram they are referring to, which diagram discharge axially. If they say it's the second diagram, make sure you only apply that information on the second diagram. So that's how we answer these questions and I will see you on the next lesson.